Okay, now we are in after we finish the vector or designer persona, we come to pixel persona and we have a few little about tools about editing the pixel. If you want to be professional in a photo editing, pixel editing, you can uh, go to uh, Affinity Photo. But we have a few nice tools for editing photo. First, everything is all about the selection in the pixel editing. You have to select the pixel and change the attributes that you want. For example, I want to cut the background from this girl. And let's try some uh, selection. This is a rectangle marquee. If you uh, click and drag or holding shift, you can uh, make it uh, per proportionally. And then release your mouse. You can select this part. And with this selection, you can... You can copy and paste it. You can anything that you want. You can do it with that. Or for example, in this selection, you can come here and uh, black and white this part of the selection. That's it. <clears throat> with these tools here, you can new. You can add if you click and drag it. Add it to your new selection. You can subtract the selection or intersection. If you click and drag it, click, select intersection of that. Another selection, interesting thing that, that you can add another rectangle or circular selection to your perverse selection. For deselect everything, I explain all of these settings here. Control D is very important. Deselect everything. If you select, for example, circular here with holding a space, you can move your selection. And if you want to invert your selection, you can come here at invert pixel selection. It selects everything except inside that. To see better that, you can click and here, and for example, black and white. As you can see, you can see that it's inverted selection. Control D to deselect everything. And here is a row marquee tool or a call marquee tool. We click and drag. You can define widths here to select something like this. The setting of the selection here is uh, solid. I mean, um, before selecting, before using the tool, you have to uh, change the settings. For example, feather, uh, Control D to deselect everything, click and drag, hold and shift. And if you change the feather here, you cannot see anything here. The feather, I explain it better uh, in refine. It's very simple. It's creating from the center or it's activating anti-aliasing. Better quality at the pixel. If you want, you can make it. From here is a freehand selection. It's very simple. You can just with click and drag and freely select an area that you want. Here you can add, subtract, intersect, and all of the settings. Or another type is polygon. Just with click, 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 you can... Uh, select it. This is in a new mode. If you want to add to previous selection, you have to add. Another mode is magnetic. It's very interesting. It's uh, if you click, let's deselect everything. For example, it's detected the contrast of the color. Just click from here and don't then release your mouse and just move your mouse in this border and automatically as you can see it snap to that area that and then you can uh, for example in this hand click and then it's automatically a snap to the edges and you can uh, select your object this is a magnetic mode <clears throat> another interesting selection mode is a selection brush tool just it's automatically detected the area. Just click and drag, holding your mouse. It's automatically detected the edges, and then you can <clears throat> select this girl and delete it from the background. Nice. I use this tool for cutting that and go here. It's automatically detected for this hair. Here I use a refine tool. And as you can see, it's a snap to the edge. It's very important. You can use the with this brush tool here. You can choose it here. You can add or subtract. For example, for example, the add, 
I add something here and as you can see I don't like this and you can subtract it from the selection I uh, choose them with the refine edge or you can uh, add soft edge if you want before doing your selection <clears throat> okay I want to refine and edit my selection how can I do that with this tool refine <clears throat> And now, as you can see, the background will be changed to mask. The matte edge, it's very important. It had to be tick. And the preview is overlay, black matte if you want, white matte at the background, black and white to see better, transparency if you want. Overlay is better. Here you can define the border width. Now, as you can see, it's give a better border to your working. Let's give a border, make it higher. Now, here you can see better border of, yeah. Change the slider to see, as you can see, the pixel, uh, it create a border between background and foreground to better transition that. To better transition with a smoothing that you can uh, use the feather. Now you can see we have a, uh, gloating with the feather in some cases it's useful in some cases if you want to sharp you can use feather is smoothing the transition the smooth of here is for uh yeah you can see it better it's smoothing the area of that and you have this result it does not calculate the sharp edges so be careful about the smooth. Make it a zero to create exactly sharp edges. And we have a brush also here. And we are in matte. Matte is the main tool. You can, for example, at the foreground, you can uh, bring back the background if you want with the foreground. Or you can expand this uh, or delete this selection from the object if you want. Or you can feather it at any part here for example the mat is the main tool and from here you can choose the brush tool size and from the mat tool i now just click and drag the hair and automatically detect that hair and add it to me let's bring it higher and now it add this hair automatically for me the best way just click and drag and just brush. It automatically detected the hair. Interesting. For example, here, here. To better seeing that, you can make it black and white to see it how it's working. And for example, here, I need a bigger brush. Yeah, the hair of there, it's automatically detected for you and refine. I think it's an AI tool in Affinity Designer. Yeah. Nice. It's completely refine my background. That's it. And after that, you have to apply it. If you want to just be it selection or create a mask or new layer with a mask, I always like it and apply it. It's create a new layer and turn off the background. We have a new layer with a mask. And we have a selection and this is our selection. And then we can simply recolor that image if you want. Control it to deselect, holding Alt click, you can make it a mask. Control click on this mask, you can bring back your selection. Control click on here or Alt click, Alt, Control. If you accidentally deselect everything, Alt again, Control click to <clears throat> bring back the selection <clears throat> or deselect. This tool is also here. Ah, uh, where was that? selection I think yeah it's a shortcut I think that was in the affinity photo okay 
and this is all about the refinance selection and yeah invert select next select previous select the same i explained it before select same object select object r text if you have a very a big project you can select the shape cloak curves open curves interesting and here uh, i want to explain other thing with that for example we come to the this and the float selection is very interesting we just click and drag it automatically detected the tolerance for tolerance for you and just with click and drag the it select the same pixel color for example the just the green parts for you click and drag to float it's floating the for you Contiguous, it means if you untick that, it just select everywhere. Suddenly at the image, uh, all of the, if you tick that, it means it's from the place that you click and drag, it floating to all the same color. And if you click and drag to the left, 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 or up and down, you can select the same color that you clicked. <clears throat> For example, I click this green, click and drag under that. It selects all of the green pixels that you select. And you can refine uh, again that you want. You can see it. <clears throat> this is an, another selection method for you. And let's select other thing, color range. It's very interesting. It just select the red. Ctrl D to deselect everything. It selects greens, for example, all the green selections. And Ctrl D. It selects mid zone, it selects shadows or highlights of the image that you, you can use them if you want. And select sample color. Uh, Ctrl D. Sorry. <clears throat> it's like the it's it's like the flow selection tool. Select sampled color. For example, I click here and it selects the color that exactly looks like the I clicked. And with this tolerance, minimum of that, it's we have a um, fewer. We have a small selection. And if you increase the tolerance, it choose the color, all of the image that is the same color, but not very the same. If you want exact color, decrease the number of the tolerance to zero, for example, not zero, one. You can mode anything that you want, intensity, and then apply. You can selection you can grow or shrink row sh grow or shrink your selection with this tool if you want interesting i, I grow my selection <clears throat> or circular feather smooth and refine edge we uh, explained it before or you can uh, create or offline it means it's it's another way to shrink and glow, grow or selection from the center from the outside from the inside you can do you grow your selections better to better seeing that you can come here control click to bring back your selection and from here you can make it outline like this yeah it's an outline you can see it's create outline of your selection hmm. it may be be interesting and select it for example recolor something like this if you want you can create such a these effects interesting this is an outline selection or you can refine or feather if you want to use you can but i uh, prefer to use these tools from refine selection okay this is all about the selection and you can just select your image and do something for you <clears throat> or for example another selection that you can use for example if you want to a part of your image you can click and drag and select it and then you can copy and then paste it and we have another layer over that layer ctrl d 
And if you select your move tool, as you can see, I have selected and cut this part of image and you can use it anywhere. So this, all of selection is select one part of image based on your drawing or based on, based on the color range and then do something to that, change it, uh, mask it, use it uh, adjustment layer or copy and paste it and you can use it.